Hi, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thank you so much for joining me. Protests have erupted nationwide after no police officers were charged directly with the death of Breonna Taylor. Kentucky's attorney general announced the results of a grand jury investigation on Wednesday. One former officer was indicted on charges of wanton endangerment for shooting into neighboring homes at the time of the incident. You'll recall Taylor was shot and killed by police in her own home. That was more than six months ago. The officers entered in connection to a drug investigation. While they had a no-knock warrant, the state's attorney general says they did announce themselves. Wednesday's grand jury announcement, though, sparked outrage. Demonstrations remained mostly peaceful and spanned from coast to coast. Hundreds of people filled the streets in San Diego, Chicago, Colorado, and Atlanta. And here was the scene in New York City on Wednesday. Thousands marched for hours from Manhattan to Brooklyn. But in Louisville, Kentucky, protesters clashed with police. Small fires were set around the city, and two officers were shot. Tarika Duncan is there with more. You could hear the gunfire erupt in downtown Louisville. Officer down, right there. Major Aubrey Gregory and Officer Robinson Desroches are recovering tonight after being struck in the hip and abdomen. Police arrested the suspect, 26-year-old Lorenzo Johnson, and charged him with two counts of assault and 14 counts of wanton endangerment. And what we saw last night with the two police officers being shot is obviously completely unacceptable. The shooting capped a night of protests in Louisville and around the country. As daylight broke, so too did the emotions of people like Renee Williams. They robbed the family. They robbed her of her life. Outside of Taylor's apartment is a small memorial. There was gun shells on, on my door frame and on the, on the mat and everything. Deja Moore, who says she was questioned by investigators, lives right across from Taylor's now vacant apartment. You were there that night? Yeah. What do you recall? They didn't announce they said, because we have hollow walls. We would have heard them. Everybody would have heard them. For the first time since yesterday's announcement, we heard from Taylor's mother through an Instagram post, a picture of her daughter with the hashtag, the system failed Brianna. Brianna Taylor, for me and for many of us, she hit a cord. Trained attorney Sadiqa Reynolds is president of the local chapter of the civil rights group, the Urban League. We have the police officers system of justice, then we have a system of justice for the white and privileged, and then there is that black justice that shows up sometimes but very irregularly and can't be counted on. Some civil rights leaders say the decision not to charge the officers with Breonna Taylor's death